If you want to protect your home from a loss of the electric grid, then an off-grid solar power system or one that's capable of running off the grid is one of the best ways to do that. In this video, I'm going to explain the simple components that make up an off-grid solar power system and how you can make sure that your home will never be without electricity. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've had a chance to help hundreds of households protect their homes from a prolonged loss of the electric grid. And typically when we're doing that, we're using a renewable energy with battery storage system. In today's video, I'm gonna to explain to you how an off-grid solar power system functions so you can understand what the various system components do and how we can assemble the system together to reach that goal. You know, my goal has always been to help as many people as possible to become as self-sufficient as possible so that you're not sitting there dependent on the government or the power company to take care of you during the next crisis. And with an off-grid capable solar power system, it allows you to be fully self-contained with your energy production and storage, meaning that everything you need is physically right there on your property. You're not dependent on the power company. You're not dependent on the fuel company. You are truly in a sustainable uh, secure environment where you have custody over all of the uh, all of the equipment. So let me explain the, the basic components that go into the off-grid solar power system. The first one, of course, is your renewable energy source, which in our case is going to be solar panels. Uh, the solar panels, of course, they harvest uh, energy from the sun, so they take light from the sun, and they convert a portion of that light into electrical energy which can be used to power the home, or in some cases even sell power back to the power company to help knock out your power bill. Now, when the energy comes in first from the solar panels, it's in a DC uh, format or a direct current format. And that direct current electricity is fed into a device called a charge controller. You can think of your charge controller as sort of like a solar battery charger. It takes energy in from the sun and then it puts voltage out onto your battery bank. Now the battery bank, this is kind of the central component of your renewable energy system because this is what actually allows you to store energy. Whatever you don't need to consume right away, you store it in the battery bank so that you have energy available um, at nighttime uh, or on days with inclement weather when your solar is not producing as much, you have a reserve of energy stored here in your battery bank that you can access at a later time. So the battery bank is very, very important, and there's various types of batteries that are available uh, on the market. Although the two types that we mainly use are AGM, uh, absorbed glass mat batteries, which is what I have here at my home, uh, as well as the newer lithium ion or lithium iron phosphate batteries, like the Tesla Powerwall, uh, for example. So the battery bank is what gives you the ability to store energy so you don't have to use it right away, gives you the ability to determine when you wanna use that energy when you're running in an off-grid mode. And then the third major component is your inverter. Uh, think of the inverter as like the engine of your system. If the battery bank is your fuel tank where you can store energy, the inverter is your engine that actually lets you convert that stored energy into power to power the various appliances within your home, whether that be your refrigerator, your air conditioner, your water pump, but the inverter is what provides that power, usable power out to the appliances. Now, another function that the inverter does is it does a voltage transformation and an, an inversion. So what I mean by inversion is it converts DC power coming off the solar panels and the batteries up into high voltage AC power, alternating current, which matches the flow of the electric grid. Uh, here in the United States, our homes and the electric grid is wired for alternating current power. And the reason it's wired that way is because alternating current power is much, much more efficient to transmit across long distances, like from the power, from the power plant to your actual home. So that's why our grid is wired for alternating current and the inverter is the component here that allows you to convert your DC power coming off your batteries and solar into that alternating current power so that the appliances that are wired within your home, they don't know the difference whether that power is coming from your solar system or from the utility grid. From the perspective of the appliances, it looks like that alternating current power that it's used to. 
Now, the nice thing about this is it means that with this type of system, you don't have to rewire any of the circuits within your home. You can continue to leave everything plugged in, all your circuit breakers wired exactly where they are right now, and very much like a home standby generator with an off-grid capable solar system, it will know that if utility power goes out, it can automatically kick in and start drawing from the batteries or from solar to make sure that all of the loads that are connected to the system would never be without electricity. Now the fourth component of the off-grid system, and this is more of an optional component, but we do recommend that most people have it if you're really preparing for a long-term grid down event. Uh, the fourth is a fuel burning generator. And what that fuel burning generator gives you is it's a, an additional way that you can charge your batteries when you're running in a grid down mode. So let's say for example, utility service is not available and it's the middle of winter and we've had overcast weather all week long. And so in this case, your solar panels aren't really producing enough energy to keep up with the demands of the house. In this scenario, you could connect a portable generator uh, to your solar system, run the generator just for a few hours, and while that generator is running, it'll be powering the appliances within the house and it'll be recharging the batteries at the same time. So it helps you to conserve fuel. You don't have to run the generator all day, but you run it just long enough to charge those batteries back full and then you can switch back to running off the renewable energy battery system. So this is the basic architecture for an off-grid capable solar power system. Now guys, if you're interested in taking a look to see if this option is available for your house, be sure to just go ahead and uh, visit us on the website or the link below, or you can send in a comment to this video. Also, if you have any questions about the information here or feedback, just post it in the comment section below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Well, as always folks, I'm Joe Ordia, uh, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.